Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create the cinematic look or the Hollywood blockbuster scary movie type look that is so commonly seen in big movies and in a lot of photographs now. And you'll see here that I've already gone ahead and done that. So this is the after image and we've got a uh, Jason Momoa look-alike but bit of a no-name Western family off-brand Jason Momoa here. And here is the original shot. So we've got it, you know, just him out in the desert doing desert things. And then we've added in some adjustments to give it that nice bluey orange look. Now this again is a very common look in uh, blockbusters. So let's go ahead and Hollywood. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to delete these two. I'm going to delete both these uh, layers here. And we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so the first step here is we are going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. So we're going to go over here to the on beside properties, you'll see adjustments. And then the next step is we're going to create a selective color adjustment. So let's go ahead right here. Left click, left click on selective color adjustment layer. All right. Now, it didn't do anything, of course, but it did open up the properties here. And you're going to see, I'm just going to move this down a little bit, that we can make some changes. Before you touch any buttons, though, or move any sliders, make sure that absolute is selected here. You want to make sure that is checked. Okay, great, on our way. The first step is we are going to work on the neutrals. Now, right now, I've got it set to reds, but we do not want that. We want to start with neutrals. So I'm going to left click on neutrals or drop it down to we're working on the neutrals. Neutrals is a nice way of saying mid-tones. It's basically the same thing. So if you're not sure, there you go. We're working on the mid-tones. We're not working on the skin color right yet. So we're working on the mid-tones. The first step, you want to take your yellow slider and move it to about 12% minus, okay? So we're taking out some yellow in the uh, mid-tones. We're also gonna now bump up the cyan. We're gonna bump that up to about 12%, and we're already getting that nice little bluish look in the background colors, which is very, very popular. Do keep in mind that this is the blue-orange look, and it's based around skin tones. It's not based on the blue. The blue is basically the diametrical opposite of orange. And what that basically means is that we want the oranges, yellows, reds to pop, which is the skin tones. Then in order to get the highest contrast value and the highest pop, <laughs> as they say in design, you need to work on the blues because they're opposite each other on the color wheel. All right, that little trivia aside, let's keep going. So we've adjusted the neutrals. Now we're going to work on the reds. So we're going to click on this colors here and we're going to switch to reds. Now the reds is where we're working on this skin tone. So we want to be careful here and we're going to add, let's go ahead, we're going to add in some yellow. So we're going to increase the yellows up. We're going to go up 12% and then we're going to decrease the cyan about 12%. Again, you guys can flavor this any way you want to, but this is the look that I'm going for in this one here. So we've worked on the neutrals and we've worked on the reds. Now we're going to work on the yellows. I'm going to click on the colors, drop it down to yellows. Under yellows, we basically just want to pull out some yellow that's it so we're going to minus the yellow about minus and in this one we're going to go down to about minus 18 percent okay so we're kind of there but we want to increase the contrast a little as well so what you want to do is you want to create a second adjustment layer so we're going to go up to the adjustment layers here and now we're going to go ahead and add in some vibrance so let's see if we can find the vibrance guy there she is click on vibrance add in a vibrance adjustment layer doesn't do anything by default, but that's okay. We're now going to increase the vibrance from zero up to about, well, let's go right over the top. Let's really sell the look here. So we're gonna go up to about 70. At 70, and I'm gonna go ahead now and reduce that size so you can see, we're gonna go back and take a look at the start. So this is the uh, budget Momoa, <laughs> at the default picture, and now this is him with the adjustment layers clicked on, and that, is the Hollywood look, the cinematic look, and that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Feedback soon.